from Seijin Suzuki comes Detective Bureau 23 Go to Hell Bastards and this is a wonderful movie they came out in 1963 from the Nikatsu company uh, never heard of it before picked it up because it was five bucks in the arrow sale and I was curious and when it came in I instantly threw it on really curious about it and the first thing I noticed was the wonderful colours and the aesthetic it has about it it feels very 60-ish uh, which it's from but it felt like the man from uncle those kind of movies it had that similar aesthetic to it only it had a better camera movement and way more violent we were opened straight away to a gang shootout which is the kind of inciting uh, incident within this movie then we meet the police who seem kind of tied by procedure and we meet this uh, private detective who is going to be our lead character who has the most amazing cheeks I have ever seen in my life. Now I, I spoke to a friend after this just going like I thought it was real and uh, he told me that the actor had uh, cheek implants to give him uh, a better look apparently. It's really off-putting every time I see him is all I could focus on but he was a wonderful lead character. So Detective Tajima, uh, I don't even know if I'm saying that right or butchering the name, he gets somehow employed by the police to go undercover in this gang and try and figure out who is this mysterious gang setting other uh, gangs off against each other and it's just really procedural and really uh, really fun as he instigates himself into the gang and they never fully believe that he is who he is and they start to research really deeply into his history uh, and eventually discover that he is part of the police force and uh, things just go in a procedural fashion but there's certain elements of this movie that just made it stand out to me I loved the way it was set up and the way it looked it was just really aesthetically pleasing uh, the camera angles were fun I loved really some of the set pieces that this sets up there's a wonderfully tense moment where you have all these gang members sitting outside the police station with weapons but the police can't do anything because they all have permits they're allowed to be there and they are waiting to kill a witness as soon as he walks out and you kind of know that the good guys did this witness for some reason um, and it just builds up the tension of how are they going to get away with this and it just explodes in this violent chase sequence that is wonderfully choreographed hundreds of extras just looks brutal uh, really smart and fun I loved Tajima's uh, crew of, of two other people that he works with this woman that wears the most garish and wonderful outfits who just laughs at everything and wants to make a quick buck and this other kind of bookish guy who is a little bit unsure about things but gets cajoled into it thanks to Tajima's uh, ability to push uh, him into those situations he gets some wonderful bad guys to rally against and it's just it feels wonderfully staged and complete it feels like the beginning of a franchise of movies I wanted more after this I initially uh, as soon as it finished went looking for sequels and more of them but it never materialised that it just kind of stopped it well, there was a second one and then that was it which is a real shame because this has all the beats and the setup and the characters who I would love to have seen coming back again and again on screen I really did like Tajima, uh, whose actor, the actor's name I won't butcher by even attempting to say but I thought he, minus the cheekbones, was wonderful and really just kind of calm, collected, suave the kind of James Bond precursor that I love and it's just it's wonderful played out exceptionally violent, exceptionally fun shootouts I loved the banter between a lot of the actors I loved their performances I loved Tajima, the main characters just easygoing nature of everything's going to work out assured in his own abilities which he has and proves throughout the movie and Detective Bureau 23 should have been a series it really should have this is a misstep on the maker's behalf from not making a buttload more of these I would have bought them all and watched them all after this a wonderful experience if you haven't seen this or you haven't even thought about picking this up it is wonderful a must have in your collection I'd love to know your thoughts on this movie let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film